we have breaking news. Uh, sad to uh, actually very sad to have to announce this, but uh, Senator John McCain of Arizona has been diagnosed with a brain tumor, a very aggressive cancer that is uh, very similar to the kind that uh, Senator Ted Kennedy had, uh, who also had brain tumor. Uh, Senator John McCain, 80 years old, has been diagnosed with a primary uh, type of cancer, a brain tumor. This was discovered at Mayo Clinic uh, as doctors directly involved in the senator's care have told CNN in an exclusive interview. Doctors spoke directly to CNN's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. The senator from Arizona underwent surgery to remove a blood clot on Friday at Mayo Clinic in Hospital in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Lab results from the surgery confirmed the presence of this cancer associated with the blood clot. Uh, Also, it is particularly very aggressive tumor that forms in the tissue of the brain and spinal cord, according to the American Brain Tumor Association. A pathologist was in the operating room during the procedure uh, and minimally invasive craniotomy with the eyebrow uh, incision, said his doctor, who added that the surgery lasted about three or four hours. Post-surgical brain scans show the tissue causing concern has been completely removed. McCain is recovering amazingly well, and according to the statement from his office. The senator showed no neuro, neurolog, uh, any kind of problems neuro, from his uh, brain before or after the operation, according to his doctors. And though not identified by name at McCain's request, his doctors were given permission to speak with CNN's Dr. Gupa, who is also a practicing neurosurgeon. Now, McCain is now recovering at his Arizona home. He and his family are considering treatment options, which will likely include radiation and chemotherapy. The news of my father's illness has affected every one of us in the McCain family, tweeted Megan McCain. It won't surprise you to learn that in all of this, the one who is the most confident and calm is my father, John McCain. John McCain, you know, I, uh, even though recently I, I would have to say I've disagreed with a lot of his uh, comments and policies as it relates to the Trump administration, I still have to say that I admire John McCain for his five years as a POW in the Vietnam War there at the Hanoi Hilton, where he suffered greatly for, on behalf of the United States of America. Recently, just two weeks ago in Florida, I was privileged to hear a lecture by another POW who had served five and a half years during the Vietnam War in that same Hanoi Hilton. He even spent six weeks in the same cell with John McCain. And he even said, even though I disagree with some of McCain's policies since he's been in Congress, he said there is no greater hero. And so I have to say that Captain, uh, the, the captain there was telling the truth. The stories were horrific, what John McCain and others suffered in the hands of the North Vietnamese. So our prayers go out to John McCain, our, our truly go out to him and to his family. And we will lift him up in prayer that God will touch him. So this is breaking news in a time that I think America needs some healing itself. They've got to tone down the rhetoric. They've got to quit coming after, you know, the, the, the news media, really, the lamestream, mainstream, fake news media. They really need to tone down the rhetoric because we're living in the last days just like this. You don't even hear them talk about, but the congressman, Scalise, Still in the hospital, folks. He has been suffering from multiple complications. He's been put back into uh, uh, critical care. 
He's dealt with infections. He's got more surgeries to go and long and lengthy rehab. So we need to pray for him as well. But I would ask every Christian out there, please, pray for Senator John McCain. Pray for his family. Pray for the United States of America because we truly need to tone down the rhetoric and we need healing. God bless all of you. Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. It's going to start at 10 p.m. Eastern. I will be live right here from the Salvation Station. We'll get you up to speed on all the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. I've got some unbelievable information to bring to you. It's going to blow your mind. And so I'll see you at 10 p.m. Eastern with Primetime Live, Paul Begley, at 10 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on Roku Satellite Television, new live stream, uh, and also on my website and YouTube Live. Also, Periscope will be live there as well. God bless.